hi fam welcome back to my channel guys like it's been a long time since we did a cost of living video on this channel i think it's almost a year and i can tell you that a lot has changed like not just in uk like all over the world it's like everyone has something to say about the how things are no longer the way they used to be but before i go into it if you just see my face for the first time my name is mona and i'm a nigerian youtuber who lives in uk so please do well to subscribe to my channel like that's your own way of supporting me and also if you like to see my face more so yes guys like i said like everything now is so expensive and this money now is like kind of difficult to get it's not like as easy as it used to be but when it comes to rent currently we pay 650 pounds for our apartment here in liverpool some of you may not be aware yes i moved to liverpool i moved sometime last year and yeah so far so good that's all i can say so guys before we used to pay 550 pounds on rent but right now we pay 650 pounds on rent so you can see our um, expenses has increased by 100 pounds. Then moving on to transportation, we spent um, 210 pounds. Now when I say transportation, I mean public transport, bus cars and train tickets and stuff. Speaking on transportation, I bring you good tidings. If you're someone that travel a lot, like you know, from one city to the other, or even within your city, just like travel from one end to another, you use trains there's this app called train pal guys so train pal is an app that allows you to save money on train tickets if you live in uk or any european country with train pal you can do a one-click ticket transfer ticket splitting fair money train and request for a refund on expensive tickets if you're a frequent traveler like myself you can use train pal to get a discount on train tickets all you have to do is download the app Create an account with your email and begin to search for cheap train tickets. Remember, you can split your tickets to save more money. Let's say you're going from Manchester to London. So you can split your ticket fare, let's say from Manchester to Crew, then from Crew to London. That way you'll be able to save more on train tickets. So once you have found the um, ticket that you're looking for, you can proceed to check out and enter my discount code MONA to save up to 5% on your train tickets. Then guys, another another tip, if you're a frequent traveler, make sure you buy a rail card. With rail cards, you can save much more on your train tickets when you're traveling. The discount code is valid all through this year till the 31st of December. So whenever you're traveling, make sure you use my discount code MONA on train power. So guys, we know another thing that takes up someone's income in this country is energy bills, guys. Like energy, especially during winter, is a, not, it's a whole, it's a different ball game. It's so expensive and, and all. So in the month of March, we paid 173 pounds on our energy bill which includes electricity and gas um yeah we cook a lot we spent 308 pounds on our grocery in the month of march this can be different some months it comes more than that like but this is the cheapest it has been this year then the next is our um phone bill i took out a phone contract for my iphone and i pay 60 pounds on it monthly then we we'll also pay another 25 pounds for um, phone wi-fi so that's 85 pounds monthly on phone bill alone then our home broadband which is the internet you know before we were just doing um wi-fi alone for i think 28 pounds but when we moved here i got a better deal for netflix tv um um and wi-fi for 40 pounds yes so that's what we pay monthly now for our home broadband everything comes monthly for 40 pounds then the next is our um, general shopping for this general shopping i feel like it's it varies some people wear designers some people you know everybody have what they prioritize for general shopping in the month of march we spent 315 pounds this general shopping included um you know basic house supplies just like random stuff that we bought the next thing is um, um insurance we pay eight pounds on insurance that eight pounds for the insurance is a public liability insurance i recently started a small business here so i've been going for pop-up sales and events and before you can attend all of any of those you need to like um insure your business so yes i pay 
eight pounds monthly on public liability insurance on council tax we pay 107 pounds monthly as well and eating out we spent 21 pounds last month guys sometimes eating out can get up to like maybe 100 pounds sometimes it's lesser it depends on you know oh today we feel like eating out let's eat out and have fun from all of all that i have said so far we spent 1917 pounds in the, in the month of march and honestly this amount sometimes it goes way higher in short not even sometimes in the month of march we spent more than this but these things i mentioned here are the basic things let's not talk about so many stuff like that you buy that i feel are not necessary because it's not something you do all the time it's just something one of like in the month of march i removed my dbs both for adults I did adults for fifty pounds. I did for child for I think thirty eight pounds. Then I also registered it on the update service, you know. So all some of those things are not something I do regularly. But every month comes with its own expenses. But basically, this is what it is like, guys. You can see that our expenses has gone up so high as compared to before. Even people in Nigeria, oh my goodness, everything has doubled in price. I even heard that they have increased. Um, electricity tariff they have increased cost of fuel i don't know how people are managing let me know in the comment section how are you finding life what's the cost of living like in your area and please remember to download train pal to save yourself some bucks when you're buying your train tickets so guys please remember to give this video a thumbs up i'll see you guys on my next one thank you so much for watching till this point bye